welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a really exciting day because it is the day of the big Dior Beauty event. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. I've been like planning for it for weeks as you guys know and I've been talking about it so I can't wait to finally have it and to meet some of you guys. <laughs> so I just got dressed and wearing this pretty mage dress and I tried to do like all pretty much Dior Beauty makeup today. I'm wearing my Dior hair clip and I've got my Dior heels on as well. Here is the dress on. It's this beautiful almost like sunset pink color and it's just shiny and pretty and I love it and I love it with the shoes too so I'm going to head over there right now and I'm going to vlog the event and it should be really fun.
so it is the next day now and I am in such a happy mood because I felt like the Dior event just was such a success and I just it really to get to meet so many of you guys and you were like so kind and so nice and so cool and I just really appreciate everyone that was able to come people came even from like outside of the city like there was one woman who came all the way from Baltimore which was really great and a couple people um, came in from New Jersey and someone from Queens and just uh, and there was a girl who had just moved to the city she had lived here for only a month and so we got to talk about living in the city and just like making friends and all of those things and it was just so nice to meet everyone and I am so grateful honored that you guys follow my channel and um, I'm also so grateful to the Dior Beauty team Elizabeth is such a dream to work with she is one of the kindest people i've ever met and i'm not just saying that but you can just tell when people are genuinely nice and just want the best for other people and that's clearly who she is and she was she had been coordinating with me for weeks and she did so many things to make the event extra special like we had all of these amazing Dior um, beauty makeup artists that came and everyone got their makeup done and everyone well, got to take home a gift bag which my <laughs> which my friend opened afterwards and I could see that um, in, in the gift bag there was like a little pink Dior makeup pouch is like a light pink and like some other little Dior beauty things and then we had like it was Valentine's Day themed so we did Valentine's Day cupcakes and chocolates and um, oh and we're also doing a raffle too so everyone who came to the event got their gift card and they got their makeup done and and there's gonna be a raffle for a gift bag too so I <laughs> just really really grateful I feel like it was such a special event just like bringing everyone together and I'm so grateful to the Dior Beauty and the Bloomingdale's team for allowing me to host this and giving me this opportunity and getting to meet all of you I'm just on cloud nine right now so um yeah I'm just <laughs> really grateful and I also want to call out too that I'm so grateful for all the people that messaged me and said that they would come but they live you know in like Texas or Greece or places that are really far um, I got so many sweet messages like that um, and I'm just so grateful that you would come if you could it's just it's nice to know that you know there's people out there that like care and that would come so thanks to all of you guys as well <laughs> yeah so uh it was just really great and i posted i posted some stuff on my stories um just like a, a little recap and then obviously this vlog will show the rest of it and um we had a really good turnout as well so many people came so yeah i'm just really <laughs> excited about the whole thing and then afterwards um, me and a couple of friends my friends came to support too of course I was like guys I need you <laughs> and it was fun to like introduce you guys to my friends it was funny how many people always recognize Kendall because she's like <laughs> in all of my vlogs um, and she brought her little dog to Flynn so that was really cute and everybody loved Flynn <laughs> so so yeah um, and then afterwards yeah a couple um, Jess Kendall Tisha Lyle and I um, just went around the corner we got some food at Soho Park and it was just nice um, and Elizabeth was so kind to give me these two beautiful boxes so I'm going to open these now I haven't opened them because I wanted to open them with you but first of all how beautiful is this box it's so spring and exciting and it's floral and pink and white my, my I mean some of my favorite things <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to I wanted to open these like when I got home last night I was like oh I want to open them now but I was like I'm gonna wait to open it on the video with you guys <gasps> oh my goodness wow <gasps> this is amazing these are full-size huge products look at this 
oh wow you guys I I feel like I don't deserve this really this is just amazing so one of the things that I love about Dior Beauty so much is how beautiful everything is and all their attention to detail because for me beauty skincare all of that is so much more than just like you know putting it on and you know it working they not only use like really good ingredients and products that are sourced from like the world but they also make their products just so beautiful and luxurious looking that it makes the getting ready process almost this special beautiful thing this like moment to yourself where especially you know if you have such a busy life whether it's you have like kids or you work long hours or whatever it is at the end of the day or the beginning of the day it's like you take this beautiful moment to yourself and you use something like this just to take care of yourself and I think it's such a beautiful thing um so this is just like this is the Dior Prestige this is I've always wanted one of these so I'm so excited for that what is this Ooh, look cream this is also really good oh my gosh look at how beautiful those are just insane oh a big Miss Dior perfume oh my goodness you guys oh my goodness oh and this is I believe an eye cream which is also supposed to be really really good oh my oh this this is the most beautiful thing this is Shador what is this oh, perfumes Christian Dior I need to open this right now Okay, oh, it looks like, it looks like a cream or a lotion of some sort. Oh, wow, that is super luxurious. This is clearly a J'adore scented lotion. And when I say this is heavy, I mean this is super heavy. And I just love like a glass heavy products like this. It's, wow, and then, okay, and then this. Oh, I love a little pink pouch. I think this is the pouch that all the other girls got too, so now we can be matching. Okay, box number two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, see. Oh, this serum is supposed to be so good. Oh my goodness. The Capture Total Cell Energy. Oh, there's like a big one and a small one, so like a travel size. Ah. Oh. I love that so much. Oh, the lip glow. Oh, I've heard so much about this. I'm so excited to try it. It's the Color Reviver Cherry Oil. And these lip maximizers. Oh, I just love the Dior packaging. I can't. I feel like I've said that a thousand times, but I just can't stop saying it because it's so true. Ooh, what is this? A waterproof eyeliner. This is a waterproof liquid liner. I remember, I think I read an article once about this in Into the Gloss and <clears throat> everybody loved it. A Dior Show Mascara. I've worn this for so many years. I love this formula. They always, they use this like backstage at fashion shows. <laughs> oh, I think, I think all the girls got this too. It's a little lipstick case another perfume in another little bag yay oh i'm so happy and so grateful i can't i really can't so anyways it's time for breakfast now so i'm going to head over to maman and see if i can get a little croissant or a little pastry this is something that i love doing by myself on saturdays lyle's actually getting brunch with his mom today so it's just me and i want to do one of my my little maman things so i'm going to put on some shoes and walk down to the one that's in little paris actually not used to this I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation Not used to this, no I'm not I better let myself Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this, no I'm not It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me I'll be like 
like a piece of art I want more, the better slow it down Inside my mind is getting all too loud I get scared, not used to this, not prepared Not used to this, not prepared, not prepared It was like if we were to waste These moments, the light poets to me obviously and it's such a good time to shop especially in this area around when there is a holiday coming up because like right now it's Saturday and on Tuesday is Valentine's Day so all the stores do something a little special like when I was just in it and other stories they were giving away espresso and little croissants and other places are giving out like flowers and just little cute Valentine's Day things. Also, it's been such beautiful weather this weekend. Yesterday, it felt like a spring day. It was so nice. And then today, it's a little bit chillier, but it's so sunny and nice, and so many people are out today, so yeah. And I forgot to say, and it's Fashion Week, so New York is always out and about when it's Fashion Week. <laughs> compliments please take a rose <laughs> so I did and I thought that that was very nice and special a fun little thing um, since it's just one flower I'm going to put it into this very small vase that I think I believe it, I got this from West Elm like a couple of years ago it's like a little pink egg shape <laughs> and I think it's really pretty but I'm about to go to the grocery store real quick because 
because I am going to pick up some stuff for dinner. I think Lyle and I are going to make pizza for dinner. And I also want to pick up some stuff to make some Valentine's Day cookies because, I don't know, I made these one year and they turned out really good. And we're also going to a uh, Super Bowl thing tomorrow at Kendall's and I figure I could bring some of them there. So, so yeah, I'm just going to make a list, head to the grocery store, give my flower a little place to live. I think I need to cut it a little shorter. And that's that. <laughs> get ready and do my makeup before I <laughs> was talking to you guys this morning but it didn't exactly work out like that right now I am making these little heart shaped cookies for Valentine's Day slash for a Super Bowl um, viewing <laughs> that I'm going to at Kendall's tonight so this morning this morning I woke up and I started getting to work right away I made this dough because these cookies actually take a really long time to make they it's like you have to make them and then you have to chill the dough and then of course you have to let them cool the, the dough has to be chilled for like at least two hours after you make them and then the baking is really quick it's like you know 11 minutes but then they have to cool completely and then after you do the royal icing that has to that takes another two hours to dry <laughs> why didn't i just make an easier recipe well i don't know i just like the way that this recipe comes out and these cookies are really good i will leave the link into the both the cookies and the icing in the description box this is some leftover dough but these are so good i made them two years ago for Valentine's Day in 2021 and they came out really good. Oh, also I have this rolling pin from Amazon is like the best because it has different different sizes on the end. So this is a quarter, oh, that's the oven preheated. This is a quarter of an inch exactly. So I know that the cookies are going to roll out to the exact thickness that they should be. But yeah, working with royal icing is not exactly easy, but it's it's fun though. I enjoy it. I enjoy a challenge and it's really satisfying when it comes out really good and then of course some people enjoy eating it. We can cry when it's over.
the Super Bowl party. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but <laughs> if it isn't obvious, I'm not like a sports girl. <laughs> I don't really watch any sports, but um, you know, when people are have the Super Bowl parties, I always go and I like to eat the food and watch the commercials. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I made the cookies. Lyle just made some guac that we're going to bring, and I think Kendall's ordering some pizza, and it should be a fun night. But yeah, I just took a shower, and I finished doing my makeup and getting ready. And the last thing I'm going to put on is this Dior Lip Maximizer. I'm going to try this out. It's the Hyaluronic Lip Plumper in shade 12, and it just looks really pretty, and I really liked the Glow Oil yesterday. I love how this has like a minty flavor to it, just like that lip oil. I feel like this is similar to that in that it's like a very similar texture, it's glowy. It also has that minty flavor to it, which is really nice. The only difference is that it has a bit of a tint to it. And this one actually is supposed to be like a lip plumper, so it's going to feel a little tingly, but it's supposed to make your lips a little bit fuller. So yeah, but uh, anyways, I'm just, we're just going to, I think, head over. The Super Bowl party last night was really fun. It was just like a small group and we just like, I don't know, watched the game. I don't, I didn't really like pay attention to the game, but, um, cause I don't really know what's happening in football, but I did enjoy the commercials and Rihanna obviously was amazing. I feel like people were kind of critical on her performance, but I really enjoyed it. So <laughs> I thought she did a really good job. And the whole time we were like, is Rihanna pregnant? Like, <laughs> we're trying to figure it out and Google it, and then maybe like 10 or 15 minutes later, um, the article came out that she is. So, uh, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that happened. Um, and what else? Oh, and everybody loved my cookies, so I'm really happy about that. And yeah, so anyways, well, we came back and I was so tired after the game, I went right to bed. And this morning I've just been doing some work, but I have a little bit of a break, so I'm going to head down to the grocery store and I'm gonna pick up some stuff. I love grocery shopping on Mondays now as opposed to Sundays because there's fewer people and the shelves are stocked up much better. <laughs> So I've got my grocery list and my reusable bags and I'm going to head out the door. I love how around Valentine's Day the grocery stores are all stacked with so many more flowers than usual. super not crowded although I would say that the shelves were stocked well but there were like certain areas that they were definitely missing probably because of the Super Bowl yesterday but anyways so I stocked back up on almond milk I always have some of this laying around if I 
want to use it for a smoothie or for making oatmeal or for making a matcha latte, whatever it is. So I've got some of that. Also some more coconut water. These are like two items I always have. Okay, and then for the rest, I just took everything out of the bag so that I could organize this into like a way that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> so for lunch today, I'm going to have some toasted Ezekiel bread that I have in the freezer. And on that, I am going to put some hummus and some avocado, carrots, cucumber, and a red pepper. And then for tomorrow, maybe the next day, I'm going to alternate between that, that veggie sandwich and a salad. So for the salad, I got this spring and herb mix. I also got some micro broccoli and some tomatoes, baby beets, and feta cheese. And then I could also use some of those other veggies that I got for the sandwich too in the salad. Oh, and I got some frozen cooked shrimp because I can't remember, I think I scrolled back through some of my old pictures today when I lived in my old apartment and I saw, I used to make this salad with some like shrimp in it, and which I thought was really good and I, I cause it's cause I used to get it from Trader Joe's and now Trader Joe's is just a bit further from me. Um, so, but I still did get some, so I'm going to put this in the freezer and just defrost it whenever I want to eat it with my salads. And then for dinner tonight, I got some chicken. This is like a Parmesan crusted chicken breast, a sweet potato, and some green beans. And then I also got this lemon pepper seasoning because I have this recipe on the side of my fridge right here from Thanksgiving when my parents were here. We made this like lemon pepper green beans and I thought that they were good. So yeah, that'll be my dinner tonight. Sorry guys, my card was full, but essentially the last couple things that I had were just some fruits. So I got some strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries for my smoothies. And then I got some, also just like, oh, it's really bright. And then I also just got a grapefruit for like breakfast, two oranges because they're in season right now, some kiwis, and red apples, which I'm going to eat as a snack with some cheddar cheese. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got while I was waiting for my footage to <laughs> download from the card. I ate lunch real quick, so I had that veggie sandwich. And I'm just going to, I have a little bit of time before, like, you know, during this lunch break before I need to hop back on my computer. But I also wanted to show you guys an update. So I don't know if I shared this yet, but in the entrance here, we got this rug, so we have, a runner and it's so like soft and I like the color it's very like luxurious looking I don't know um, and I think that it works here in the entrance so yeah things are moving along with the apartment decorations now I just need to decorate and style the top of this console table I'm thinking of doing like a light stacked on some books maybe a candle maybe a little dish for like keys and stuff so so I also just got a package in the mail from ASOS and this is just one thing if it's the right thing that I'm thinking of. I ordered a dress to wear for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow, I believe. Tomorrow or the next day? I don't know. <laughs> but it came super fast. And hopefully it fits. If it doesn't fit, I feel like the dress that I wore for the Dior event is a good backup. This is the dress, by the way. I got it from Maj. And I feel like it looks a lot better on than on the hanger. On the hanger, it looks a little bit <laughs> like like that, but um, it is so pretty. It's like this peachy pink with the subtle little gold specks in it. And it's just like a nice kind of more formal dress for the winter time because it has the long sleeves. So 
I felt like it was perfect for that event and especially it's 50 and it's 50 percent off right now which is really good so anyways and last I checked they had all the sizes available okay so here is the dress from ASOS dun, 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 dun. It looks like this. Actually, it looks really cute. I hope that it fits okay. I think the waist looks a little bit big, but we'll see once I put it on. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And then it's like this, another long sleeve pink dress <laughs> for the winter. I love the sleeves. I'm gonna throw this on real quick. Okay, so I think I actually really do like it. It does fit properly. It's got this fun, waist and just like I don't know I love the skirt and the sleeves are just really really fun I don't know I love the fact that it gives that waist details kind of like a corset outside of the dress which is not something I would normally go for but in this case I think I like it I think it just needs like hair down and to be styled a little bit with some heels but ah, oh, actually <laughs> I think this is really cute so I'll leave this linked I know when I ordered it there weren't it was almost sold out so I'm not sure if by the time this video goes live if it will still be in stock but I'll leave it linked if it is in the description but this will probably be my Valentine's Day dress this year okay guys so it's later in the day now and I'm about to go to bed but I just had to organize all of my new Dior Beauty skincare in my medicine cabinet and it looks so pretty now it's like it's gotten a whole upgrade so this is the whole like skincare side and I did the Dior prestige on this side so I have the this is like a facial exfoliator this is a cream like a face cream and an eye cream and then the serum and then this J'adore lotion which just smells actually like heavenly <laughs> and then the capture total um collection so i've got the super potent rich cream this one for this cell energy the super potent serum and also the plump filler <laughs> um and i've just organized my stuff so i got rid of a couple things that were like expired and stuff but <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to have to end the vlog here. It's a couple of days later. I realized I never ended this vlog, but it had been a really great weekend and I'm just really grateful for it. Um, probably lots of talk about Dior Beauty throughout this vlog. So hope you guys like it. I'm wearing the lip glow and I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.